What is going on, fellow farmers? Welcome back to another FS19 tutorial with your boy CJ Farms. Today, guys, I'm going to be doing the tutorial by request uh, from Timmy Loot 17 Gaming, who had asked me to do a tutorial on. Uh, he was curious about how I did my thumbnails and got all the speedometer and the HUD and everything out of the picture. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do that. Uh, we're going to have to download one mod for this to take place. Uh, it is a lot easier than what most of you might think. Uh, so let's go ahead and click the link down there, guys, for easy development controls. All right. It is going to bring you to this page right here. Uh, easy development controls. This is what we're going to do now. Now, doing a tutorial on easy, de easy development controls itself is a whole nother tutorial. There's so much stuff you can do with easy development controls. Let's go ahead and click download right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be from ModHub. And once you get it downloaded, put it somewhere you know how to get to it. I do recommend your desktop as we are going to be downloading the, uh, installing this by a hole. So you want to go into your downloads folder or wherever you put it at and just bring it out to your desktop like that. So we're not going to be extracting this. Um, a lot of you that watch me on, on Criminal Justice know that we extract our files. On here, that is the difference between FS19 and LSP4 GT5. Is on here you do not have to extract any files. So... The next thing we need to do is find our mods folder for our FS19. The way we're going to do that is go into our file explorer. We're going to go to this PC, and then you're going you're going you're going to go to documents. Okay, documents, and then you want to go to my games right here. All right, and then you want to go to Farming Simulator 2019. Now, before you double click on that, go ahead and highlight it and right click and click Send to desktop create shortcut all right now we're not going to open this so go ahead and close out and if you'll notice now you have a shortcut on your desktop right here grab this and pull it down to your file explorer until it says pin the file explorer and then just kind of drop it in there like that okay you will now have a shortcut in here it says farming simulator 2019 shortcut if you will click that and open it this is where you need to be okay now um, i'll show you how to access it access that through your file explorer you can go ahead and grab this little shortcut on your desktop guys and you can throw it into your recycle bin like that now the way you access that file that uh shortcut every time is you go down to your file explorer and you want to right click and it'll bring up all your shortcuts that you have pinned go up to farm similar 2019 click on that and you want to go into the mods folder. now you guys notice i do have different mods folders here um you only need you want to you want to insert this you want to install this in the one that says mods okay so we're going to open the one that only says mods okay right here all right now we're going to grab this file on our desktop that says fs19 easy development controls and we're not going to open it okay we're just going to grab the entire thing now, i already have it we're going to grab the entire thing and we're going to drop it into our mods folder just like that now don't highlight anything if you're highlighting something that says copy do not drop it okay you want to pull it in until it says move to mods and you want to drop it in okay as you can see i already have it i'm not going to overwrite it it will not take you that guys but there it is it's in the game let's go ahead and close out and i'm going to take you guys into the game and show you how um how to do a thumbnail how i do it um and i'll bring you back to the desktop and show you every little step so i'll see you guys inside of pharma simulator 2019. all right ladies and gentlemen so once we are at this screen right here we are just going to um if you will just click on career and then it doesn't matter which one you select i'm going to go ahead and just select a new uh farm here because um, i've got other ones there we're going to select new farmer it doesn't matter which one you pick just pick new farmer and like i said again it doesn't matter which one you pick we're just going to pick ravenport we're going to go to ravenport real quick click continue uh continue again on your character now this is the important part you need to remember every time you install a new mod into your fs19 okay and you come to this window right here that mod by default is going to be deselected okay now mine's already going to be selected because i already have it installed uh, but if you will if you will scroll down here you will see um let's see where it is it should be right here right here it is guys easy development controls now make sure what you want to do is go down here and click deselect all and select all that way this mod is selected okay for what mods you do not check before you go into the game those mods will not work okay so be sure to deselect all and select all and then hit enter to start and we're going to go into the game and show you guys how this works it's actually pretty simple uh, i'm just going to pull i'm going to buy a random track and i'm going to show you guys how to do it how to do a thumbnail um 
I might just do a thumbnail for this video, just show you guys how to do the thumbnail, and then I'll take you back to the desktop and show you what program I use for my thumbnails and all that. Um, so I will show you how it's done. Let's hit start and go into the game. All right, uh, you do not want a tour, uh, so just click no, guys. You do not want a tour. Now, once you're in the game here, okay, this is what you want to do, all right? To open up your Ease Development Controls, you are going to click F11 on the keyboard. It's going to bring this up. Now, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with Easy Development Commands. Like I said, doing a tutorial on this mod alone is a whole nother video, okay? But... You guys want to know how to do a thumbnail and how to get rid of all of the mods, the, the HUD and stuff, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little guy right here in the middle. See the guy in the middle right there with the hat on? You're going to go to him and you're going to go over here to flight mode. See where flight mode is? You're going to turn that one on and turn on flight state and then exit out. All right? Now, once you're in this mode, you will notice that if you hit Q, it's going to take you up and E will take you down, okay? Now, if you go over and hit the O on your keyboard, O is an ocean, it's going to take everything off your screen. That's exactly how it's done, okay? So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take my, my uh, I'm going to take it up here, and I'm just going to do a screenshot right here. So if I hit the O, see how the HUD comes back on? Now, now trust me, this shuts off your, um, your, your speedometer as well so if you're inside your tractor you want to do a thumbnail of you inside the tractor all you gotta do is hit that O and it turns that speedometer off okay it will turn everything off so just for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna pull up my easy development commands actually no you know what I'm, I'm gonna go like this and I'm going to hit F12 and take a screenshot okay this is going to be the shot for our thumbnail now keep in mind if you want to go back down okay you'll hit E to go down now, if you want to turn it off, guys, you want to turn flight mode off, you will go back in Easy Development co Commands by hitting F11 on the keyboard, where that little guy is, and go in here to flight mode and turn, just turn that top one off, and it will be turned off, okay? But if you go into Easy Development Commands, guys, like I said, this, and I can do a tutorial on this specific mod right here if you guys want me to, but this mod in particular, there is so much. I mean, you can add money, subtract money, you can remove tire tracks, you can... You can spawn bales of hay, straw, whether they're square, round. You can do silage. Uh, you can teleport from field to field. You can clear the tip area. You can tip with, with like, for example, guys, let me show you this right here. This one, this one's actually uh, pretty cool. Let me, uh, let me, let me run down here real quick, and I'll show you that mod too if you guys would like me to. So let's just say, if I want to tip some weed to the ground, okay, if I want weed to the ground, I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna put uh, thirty thousand, uh, thirty thousand liters. I'm gonna click the check mark. It's gonna put it's gonna put it on the ground, okay? Now just say if I wanted to clear this out, I'm gonna go here and clear tip area. It's gone. See that? It's gone. Alright. So with that being said, that is not what this tutorial is about, guys. Let's get back to the desktop. So we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit this and we are going to quit the game. Um, and I do want to quit without saving because I do not want to um, save that farm. Uh, but I'm gonna take you guys back to the desktop and show you exactly what, what software I use for my thumbnails and how I make my thumbnails from start to end, okay? So this might be a bit of a tutorial, okay? But I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Uh, let me go ahead and quit the game here. Now, when I get back to my desktop, of course, I took that screenshot on Steam. So I will go to my Steam, okay? And it's going to bring up my Steam right here. I'm going to go to my library, and I'm going to click on Farming Simulator 2019, and right there is going to be your screenshots, okay? You just left-click on it, okay? And then once the picture is pulled up big, you can right-click and click Browse the Screenshot. It's going to pull up all your screenshots that you've taken for Pharmacy 19 in this folder, okay? Now, the ones in here, I can tell you, they're just safe to delete. You can just go ahead and delete them because they're, they're, when you click them, they're extremely small anyway. So they're, they're, they don't, I don't even know why they're there. But I just always go ahead and go in here and click Control A and then just delete everything, okay? But for the for the second tour, we're gonna use this. This is the thumbnail that we took, guys. This is the screenshot we took. So I'm gonna close out of my Steam real quick, and I'm gonna grab this uh, right here and I'm gonna drag it over to my videos and my captures because that's where I put my screenshots at, okay? Now that I've got that, all right. Before I make my thumbnail at all, I am going to go into my file explorer. I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to videos and I'm going to go to captures and I am going to pull up that screenshot because now I want to edit the photo. I don't want to just put it in raw. I want to edit it so it looks good. Okay. 
So here's what I will do. I will go up here to where it says edit. And everybody that has Windows 10 has this program, okay? I will go up here to edit and create. And I will go to edit right here, okay? And then I'm going to go to, the only thing I do, guys, is adjustments. Now, you can go to filters and you can do all this different stuff here. But the only thing I do is go to adjustments and I will click on my light and click on my color, okay? Now, this is where the magic comes in. This is where the cool stuff happens, right? So, up here, you can adjust your light, contrast, exposure, highlight, shadow. You can go down here and adjust your color, tint, warmth, clarity, and, and vignette, okay? So, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you exactly how I would do it because this is how I would adjust my thumbnail depending on what kind of picture it is what kind of colors is in it and what thumbnail it is and what game i'm playing okay so i'm going to adjust this the way that i want it i'm going to bring my light up and i always bring my light up quite a bit so the colors pop real good let's go ahead and bring that exposure out so the trees come out see that guys and don't worry about the brightness being too bright because you can always adjust the contrast or your shadows to bring that light up and down see that so i'm going to bring those shadows up about right to there and then i'm gonna bring my contrast in to kill the darkness i mean to bring the darkness in i see that now it's still pretty bright but notice how the colors are popping now if you want them colors if you want that brightness to go down guys just take your shadows and bring it down a bit and it'll kill that brightness just like that okay now color this is very important you always want your colors to pop in your thumbnail you always the thumbnail is like the cover of your video and you want it to pop you want that to be the main attraction for when people see that they're like oh that makes me want to click on that video only because of the thumbnail so in order to do that you want your thumbnails to stand out and you want your colors to pop okay so we're going to take this color and we're going to adjust this kind of high now see how the colors can if i go down it's black and white of course but if i go up it's going to bring those colors way out, okay? And then, of course, you got your tint, your warmth. The warmth I use more or less to bring in the sunlight. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. The tint you can take down or the tint you can take upward, which I like to do because it makes the color stand out, makes it pop. All right? And now the warmth, okay? We're going to bring this warmth slowly. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. The sunlight brings in the sunlight. And as you can see, it starts bringing kind of a sunlight color into the thumbnail itself, okay? So I'm going to say that's good right there. The shadows are looking good. I could probably adjust the shadows a little bit. And you can zoom in and out too, guys. Just so you know, right here, you can take your mouse and, and zoom in and out just like this. Now, I just say I want some more shadows, okay? I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring the shadow down, okay? Because with the shadows, guys, the shadows, to get more shadows, you actually have to bring it down. To get less shadows, you actually take it up, okay? So we're going to bring the shadows down just a tad bit. And we are going to kill those highlights just a tad. Like that right there. Perfect. Now, we're going to go down here where it says clarity. Now, I very seldom ever use the Vignetti, guys, which brings in the dark color around the sides of the uh, thumbnail. I very seldom ever use that. Um, maybe once in a blue moon. But what I mostly use is the warmth, tint, the clarity, all the way up to light. That's the ones that I use. Okay, so I'm going to grab this clarity. Now, if you take this clarity all the way over, it paints a very beautiful picture. See the shadows and stuff pop? But what I like to do is I like to start at zero, and I will start moving it very, uh, at a step, not very slow, but at a steady pace until I get that picture that I want. And I'm going to say probably about right there. That's at 70 clarity, okay? And once you're done, you can either save a copy, or as I like to do, I just go ahead and save, and it overwrites the previous picture. And there you go. All right. Now, next step, we're going to close out of this. Okay. And we're going to close out of this. All right. Now, you're going to go into your Windows Start menu and you are going to find your Paint 3D. Now, everybody has their own uh, software that they use. Some people use the Paint 3D. Um, some people use um, other software uh, to do their thumbnails with. I use Paint 3D just because I love Paint 3D. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here in your side column until you find um, your Paint 3D, okay? So it's going to be it's all alphabetized. Right here is your Paint 3D. Once you find it, you can right-click it, and you can click More and click Pin to Taskbar, or you can pin it to your Start, key, your start menu like I have right here, okay? So we're going to open it up. Once you have it open, you're going to click New, okay? And then we're going to go up here to that little side menu thing right there. And we're going to click on that menu. And we want to browse files, okay? So we want to go to where that screenshot was. So mine was in videos. 
and captures, okay? And we just want to double click on that picture. It's going to bring it in. And as you can see here, you can zoom in and out with your Paint 3D just like this. All right, you can adjust the thickness and the opacity. I never mess with none of this stuff, over, guys. I just leave the picture the way it is, and I just put in two inserts. So, uh, putting in the logos, all right, guys? We're going to go to Menu, and we're going to go to... Now, when, once you put in your Pharma Simulator 19 logo, your transparent logo, you want to go to Insert, okay? So, go to Insert, and then wherever your transparent logo is, guys, mine's going to be down here. We're going to put that in there just like that, and you want to make it 3D. So, click Make 3D over here. And this way you can stretch it in and in and out and make it any which way you want. I'll put mine about like that right there. And I will put it like up here. And you can move it with the arrows on your keyboard to go up, over, and down just like that. Okay. And you can make it as big as you want or small as you want. You don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small either. So I'm going to put mine about like that right there. Now this will be the actual thumbnail for the... Um, for the tutorial okay now there's one more thumbnail one more insert i like putting in so i'm going to go back to menu i'm going to go to insert and i'm going to go back to those transparent thumbnails all right and i'm going to double click on this giant software okay and again i'm going to go over to the right and click make 3d okay that way it doesn't bend out of shape on yourself you can you got complete control of it just like this I'm going to grab this, and sometimes I'll put them up here. Sometimes I'll just uh, I'll flip them sideways, and I'll put them like down here. So I think that's what I'll do this time is I'll put my giant software down here, even though you can't see that software real good. Um, the, a vast majority of people knows what that says. So we're going to put that there. And now I'm going to put in um, how to make a thumbnail. So what I want to do is go to my text up here at the top, and I want to go to 3D text. Okay, your 3D text, this is your 2D text. And this is your 3D text. Use your 3D text if you want to, okay? You want to click bulb, and you want a color that's going to pop, okay? So I'm going to pick my green. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to stretch this out. All right, and I'm going to type in how to make. And I'm going to just go ahead and click outside the box here. All right. And now that I've done this, I'm going to go like this and grab this Pharma Store 2019. I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to switch corners with it. And sometimes you'll run into that. Sometimes you'll, you'll realize, okay, well, I don't want that to be there. I need to be over here because i got something else I want to put there. All right, and we're going to make it just a tad bit smaller, and we're going to leave it just like that. Now, I'm going to go back up here. As long as these are 3D, guys, you can click back on them, okay? Now I'm going to bring this out, all right? I'm going to put it about right here, okay? And I'm going to bring this like this. Now, being the fact it's 3D, you can turn it. You can twist it, okay? You can turn it up and down like that. The cool thing about it is you can turn it up and down, and that's what I like about this 3D paint, right? Because I can go like this, and I'm going to pull it out, and you see how it comes out in the 3D form like that? It looks really, really cool like that, in my opinion, I... I love it. So I'm going to make this about like that big, and then I'm going to stretch it out until it's touching the top of that, okay? And then we are just going to simply turn it back like this. Now I'm done with that part, how to make. Now we got to type in how to make a thumbnail, okay? So I want to go to my text again, go to 3D text, and perhaps this time we want to pick a yellow that, that pops, okay? And at this part, I'm just going to type in a... thumbnail with a couple of exclamation points okay click outside the box you now have a 3d uh text again here okay now if the color doesn't fit you you can always go up your wise highlight you go up here to where it says edit color and go back in and you can click this little pin right here and actually go in here and make it any color so if i click on say this barn right here that's what color that's going to be right there okay but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. I'm just showing you guys. For example, you can click that pin and literally grab any color on the map that you want, and it will uh, light up for you just like that. So the white. So we will use the white. So we're gonna put how to make a thumbnail. All right, and I'm gonna make this about like that right there, and then I'm gonna just start twisting and turning this. All right, like let's see, let's let's do this one. Um, Let's do this one this way, and I'm going to turn it just a bit, and then I'm just going to twist it like this. 
so it kind of sticks out and then we're going to stretch it out real big see that and now keep in mind guys you can stretch it from the bottom like this okay you can also stretch them on the top okay so i mean it's just it's endless amounts of, of stuff on here guys how to make a thumbnail so timmy asked me uh he just asked me to tutorial on how to clear the hud and i'm going to know how to make a thumbnail on this so but i hope you guys enjoyed it there it is right there and and if if this is not fitting for you you can always change it guys you can always go back and move these around like that you know even as long as they are 3d you can go back and click on their 2d i don't know it won't let you click back on it for some reason i don't know why uh, but guys, this is something you can experiment with. As you can see uh, with my mouse cursor, there is all kind. They've even got a whole 3D library in here. So just say, for example, if I want to use, I know you guys see me use arrows sometimes. I'll go to my 3D library and I'll click an arrow. And this is the arrow you guys see me use right here. And I will bring it in. So let's just say I want to point to that word thumbnail. Okay, I'm going to bring this arrow in. All right. And I'm going to turn this to where it's pointing at the thumbnail, but I want to make it a little smaller because I don't want it to go outside the uh, box. As a matter of fact, yeah, we'll leave it right there. Um, and again, guys, you can stretch these from side to side like that, uh, just like this. You can also make it bigger on each end. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I love paint 3D, guys. I love it. So we're going to put... Um, we're going to leave that arrow right there and you guys will actually see this thumbnail in the, in, in as, as part of the video. Okay. And I'm going to stretch it and bam, I'm done just like that. Now, once you're done, you want to make sure you save the picture in a JPEG 1920 by 1080p. Okay. Being the fact the screenshot is already 10, 1920 by 1080 by default, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. So right down here where it says giants guys, I'm not, I'm not satisfied with that. Okay. So I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to stretch it out a bit because I want to make it a bit more seen, okay? So I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to adjust it, which means we have to adjust this up here. So we're going to move it up just a tad bit so it's not so close and we're going to move the arrow as well, okay? All right, so if I can get that to turn just a little bit more like this. There we go, and we are done. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, once you once you're done, guys, and you want to save it, you want to go back over to the left corner and click menu and click save as. You want to click on image, okay? Click image and then make sure that your selection here cuz sometimes it'll come in, in a PNG, make sure it's a JPEG because if it's not a JPEG, YouTube will not accept it, okay? It has to be a JPEG, all right? So go to JPEG, make sure your width and height is 1920 by 1080p which it should be by default if for some reason it's not you can always go here and click lock aspect ratio and type it in yourself and adjust the picture okay once you've got all that click save and then save it somewhere here i'm just going to put in fs19 and click enter it's going to save it now this is a very important part because you want to save your thumbnail in case you need to come back to it for any fixes or corrections okay you're going to go up here and you're going to click that x in the corner it's going to say, do you want to save your work? You're going to hit tab and go over and push enter on save. All right. Now you want to, if you want to name your project here, guys, you can, you can, we'll just name this one FS 19, um, thumbnail. Okay. And then we're going to hit tab and you want to click on save and paint 3d just like that, guys. It is now going to save in your paint 3d. So if you need to come back to it, guys, and you want to go back to it, go back to your paint 3d. And you want to go to open and right there it is guys it will load it back up for you and there it is ladies and gentlemen that is it for this tutorial uh timmy luke 017 big shout out to you man uh for requesting this tutorial. i i appreciate all the requests i get guys if you have any more requests for episodes uh or tutorials throw them in the comments below i'll be more than happy to try to accommodate those for you uh, love you guys so much man be sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already smash that like button for your boy and click the bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live. With that being said, until next time, guys and girls, this is CJ Farms. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.